If you planned on ordering Italian tonight, watch this one first. We're going to show you how to make a satisfying spaghetti dish with the ingredients that are already in your kitchen. It's a recipe from the new book, Dinner in One, by New York Times food columnist Melissa Clark. Melissa makes oh, everything easy, Bobby. Bobby, do you cook? I, uh, you, I do not okay. cook. <laughs> Melissa, <laughs> we're going to teach you him right now. Ordered. Exactly. We're going to teach you. Okay. okay. Okay, so we're going to make, we are making a pasta carbonara takeoff. Okay. So this is I'm an easier version because we're going to do everything in one pan. I like it. Yeah, Simple. exactly. That's the it's in just one. because everybody, you know, people who love to cook still don't like to do dishes. Yes. So yes. this book is going to take care of that for you. There's so eggs and pasta and bacon. I'm so I confused know. right now. I know. You're, you're thinking, is it breakfast time or what? Yeah. This is a traditional carbonara combination. But what I'm doing is doing it in one pan, and I'm going to add some fresh greens to make it a little lighter. Okay. Eggs. All right. So will you, will you beat those for me? You can do that. How right? many? Do I, five. So I have um, I have some eggs, this, and I have some I extra to, egg yolks. Is it just? Is this, I'm gonna do, I'm that's gonna not beating. You. No, I told no, you no, I can't no, cook. But we're going to. And then I would get it on our clothes, and it'd be a whole thing. I know. That's the thing about cooking. It can be a little messy. Okay. Now, okay, I'm going to use two kinds of cheese right here. Now, Bobby, okay. yes. this yeah. one is the Parmesan. Put it right in. How much? Okay. All the whole, oh, the whole thing. thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. we want a lot of cheese. Going at it. It. Is that your wedding ring, the red one? It is. Oh, that's Well, nice. because it's rubber, and I thought I was cooking today, <laughs> and I didn't want to... You wanted to slip in an extra, okay. so we yes. get messy. Nice. Or chewy. Okay. okay, and then, Hoda, I've got also some um, pecorino. I'm pecorino. using two kinds of cheese look at all, look at to that. make it... One <laughs> is a little nutty, one is a little salty. Okay. There's a cheese called pecorino? Pecorino, <laughs> exactly, because guess what? It's that made from sheep. expensive. Oh. All right, now we're going to add some pepper and some salt, okay. and then this is bacon. Oh, so, yeah, now we're talking. bacon, regular? So, this is regular bacon. Mm, um, you'd use good. pancetta if you were in Italy, but use okay. whatever, whatever kind. And I have some mm. onion right here. Mm, and that. the onion is cooking in the bacon fat. Oh, and that is part of what's going to make it mm. so delicious, I is that's that. going to have that Ooh, flavor no, throughout the whole thing. It smells so good. Exactly. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, here's here. a silly question. Yeah. Did you cook the bacon and then chop it up, or did you chop no, it up? No, I chopped it first, and that way you don't have to take it out of the pan, and it's just, it's neater that way. All right, now here is the part that I love. So to make this a one-pot meal, we're going to cook the pasta in with the bacon. You're going to boil it we're in gonna here? We're going to boil it in here instead of messing up another pot. What? And this is also, what's so great about this is that it allows the pasta to take on a lot of flavor from the bacon because okay. it's absorbing it, right? So we're going to add some water right here. Okay. Oops. And, and you then, just cover it. Should be all covered. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna okay. um, first we're gonna just let it simmer for a few minutes, then we cover it. Okay. And then I'm gonna add a little more salt. Okay. And I'm so intrigued by breakfast foods and pasta. I, I know, isn't it great? Okay. And um, and then another great thing about this also is that you can you have a lot of control over it because you're standing right here, so you know when it's perfectly al, al dente. Okay. So you know when it's just right. So this is what it looks like. This takes about 10 minutes, and afterwards, this is what you get. Do you throw it so, against the wall to see if it's done? That's what my grandma always told me. Yeah. You want to try it? it? You want to try it? Do it. Do it. But, yeah, that one's not gonna work. <laughs> if you do this one, you're just going to mess up your wall. Okay. It's definitely done. Okay. All right, so just give it a little stir. Swirl it around. Exactly. Now, what about the egg mixture yeah, with so all the... we have the egg oh, right here. And then this is what you do. You add it. So this is off the heat at this point, and the okay. pasta is hot. It's still hot, yeah. So it's, it's going to cook the egg. You're not, you don't have raw egg here. You have um, the pasta cooks it immediately. It coats it. It makes this beautiful silky sauce. Oh, look at that. You've been doing that perfectly. Oh, my oh, God. So you just keep pushing it around? around? No. Oh. no <laughs> but when you, you know, do, you know do what not. you're doing. Okay, so you keep pushing you it around until it's it around. all over. Yeah, and then, okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to, okay. so this is another thing that they do okay. not do with carbonara in Italy. They mm -hmm. do not add fresh greens. Oh, you add it And here? I'm going to add all, yeah, so I have the some spin. Yeah, throw it all the in. The whole thing? The whole thing because That's I'm what I said about the cheese. I couldn't believe it. Exactly. I know, isn't it amazing, though, because it absorbs it. What's this? And that is um, parsley. Parsley. And basil. And ba oh, I love basil. And yeah, and we're okay, just making so a slightly fresher, kay. lighter version. So you keep mixing, mixing. Keep mixing. And another we thing. Try it? Yeah. Another okay. thing here is this is a one pot meal because you mm -hmm. have your veg. You have mm -hmm. your pasta, your eggs, your bacon, and your veg. Okay. Do you want a little what extra cheese? What hour do you eat this? Again, I'm so what, <laughs> What's Any the perfect hour? hour? Of the day. 7 right now, or you know 10 what? 10, 10 30. This okay. is the perfect hour of the day. Mm. 7 30 oh in LA. What do you think? Mm. Do you love it? Mm. See? That is so good. Bobby, you could make this mm -hmm. at home, right? You good. saw how easy that was. That's what I'm going to say. Sometimes, for example, like a frosty and a fry in the South. We do that. It shouldn't <laughs> yeah. go together, but it does. Right. This is that. Oh, a so frosty good. and a fry. Oh, yeah, it. that's a real, It shouldn't go together, but it does. <laughs> sure. awesome. Yeah, but this does. Yeah. All right. To make this at home, head to today.com slash food for more of Alyssa's recipes. Check out her new book. You can get it at today.com slash shop. Dinner in one. I got to swallow here. Uh-huh.